In this presentation, we will take a look at multiple choice questions related to the statement of cash flows. First question. Activities that involve the sale of goods and services to customers are classified as Support accounting instruction by clicking the link below giving you a free month membership to all of the content on our website broken out by category further broken out by course each course then organized in a logical reasonable fashion making it much more easy to find what you need than can be done on a YouTube page we also include added resources such as excel practice problems pdf files and more like quickbooks backup files when applicable so once again click the link below for a free month membership to our website and all the content on it either a financing activities b investing activities c operating activities d direct activities e indirect activities let's go through this again using the process of elimination activities that involve the sale of goods and services to customers are classified as either a financing activities now when we have services we're talking about services to customers then you really i would go through this type of questions in terms of an ordering first thinking is something in the operating activities because that's where most things will be and then going through a process of elimination from there. The operating activity deals with things that are going to be kind of related to the income statement. It's kind of like the income statement on a cash basis. So in this case, we're talking about um, activities that involve the sale of goods. So you would think the normal journal entry there would be something to deal with revenue. So I would think that the operating activities would be the place to go there. So is it financing? Probably not because that would have to do with like bonds, notes payable, getting money for the company uh, in, in some kind of fashion other than normal operations. Uh, and then we have investing activities. Probably not there. That's going to be something like if we have investments or uh, purchasing equipment or something like that, selling equipment or selling uh, investments. And then the operating, I think it's going to be the one here. It's pretty uh, clear because it's it has the sale of cost of goods. Now we might have thought D says the direct activities and indirect activities. Because we're talking about the sale of goods, we might start to think, well, maybe it's the direct method we're using instead of the indirect method. But they didn't really ask us about the method that we're using there. They just asked us you know, which classification it would go into. So it would be classified under the operating activities, no matter which method we were basically uh, using here. The activities related to uh, the sale of services will be in the operating activities. So we're going to say answer C. Activities that involve the sale of goods and services to customers are classified as C. Operating activities. Next question. The purchase of equipment is classified as A. Financing activity. B. Investing activities. C. Operating activities d direct activities and e indirect activities so if we go through this again the purchase of equipment is classified as now again if we're thinking about the cash flow statement normally we're thinking about is it investing financing or operating these last two really the direct or indirect are, are don't look like they apply here they're kind of throwing us off there is a direct and indirect method but it doesn't look like this is asking a question about that. They're asking, where is it going to be classified? Is it financing, investing, or operating? So if we, for that purpose, I think we can narrow down these questions between D and E and remove those. And then think about financing, investing, and operating. So the purchase of equipment, I would think through a journal entry. What does it have to do with? First thinking, is there something to do with the operating activities? Is there something involved with income? And the journal entry to purchase equipment is typically going to be equipment, uh, equipment, <laughs> and that's going to be a debit, let's say 100, and then we're going to credit something like, let's say, cash or notes payable. And if that's going to be our journal entry, nothing, neither of those accounts are going to be income statement accounts, and therefore it's probably not operating because operating typically deals with income type accounts. We're going to try to get to net income on a cash flow basis 
And then I would typically think, is it investing? And that would be the question of, did we get an asset? Are we investing in a long-term asset? In this case, of course, we are. We're buying equipment. So I would think the answer then would be investing. It's not financing because financing would be the company trying to get money, basically capital, through a loan, through an investment from the owner, or paying back a loan to pay back the financing or paying back the owner in the form of dividends or um, a draw in the case of a corporation or sole proprietorship partnership. So the final answer, the purchase of equipment is classified as B, investing activities. Next question, the issuance of common stock is classified as A, financing activity, B, investing activity, C, operating activity, D, direct activities, and E, indirect activities. So again, this we're looking for the issuance of common stock. Now, once again, we're looking at the cash flow statement, so we would think it would be either financing, investing, operating. I'm gonna say once again, the D and E look to be things that are kind of throwing us off because they're not one of the major three categories. They look to just be filling two extra spots in a multiple choice question. So I'm gonna cross those out and be left with A, B, and C. And we have the issuance of common stock. Now, if we think about the journal entry there, we would say, hmm, what would the journal entry be? We would say we'd get cash if we issued common stock. Let's say it was 100 cash. We're gonna credit common stock, but it's gonna be credited for the par value. Let's say that was 75. That was a seven. And then the difference is additional paid in capital of the 25. So typically it looks something like this. Now, first I would ask, is there anything that's gonna be operating activity related? Meaning, is there anything that's like an income statement account? And none of these are income statement accounts, so I would think it's not operating. And then I would think, well, is there anything that we invested in? Did we invest in any, are we purchasing like an asset here? And in this case, no, what we're getting is cash. And we're not like getting it from selling an asset because we're selling an interest in the company. We're selling something, but we're selling our equity in the company, not something that we own or the company owns. So it's not investing then, it's financing. And so this is a way for the, for the company to get money without selling something. We're not selling an asset. We're not you know doing some kind of normal operations. We're just trying to get capital through an investment basically from the owners by selling capital stock. So we have the issuance of common stock is classified as A, financing activity. Next question. Interest paid on a loan is classified as A, financing activity, B, investing activities, C, operating activities, D, direct activities, and E, indirect activities. Once again, looking at the statement of cash flows, I think we can eliminate D and E, and we're really looking for those three categories, the cash flow statement, financing, investing, or operating. So interest paid on a loan. Now this can get a little bit tricky. If we pay the interest on the loan, typically we would say, okay, cash is going down. And so that would be a credit. And then we would debit interest expense. Now, interest expense is an income statement item and therefore here we would think yeah that would be on operating activities so that would be the thought process the reason it's a little tricky is because it's the interest expense on a loan and that the taking of the loan itself would be a financing activity but the interest is going to be reported on the income statement part of normal operations which we will have on the operating activities so final answer interest paid on loan is classified as c operating activities.